I want to show you a miniature nuclear power plant that sits in the back of a truck. It's right there, left-hand side of your screen. James Walker runs the company that makes it. That company is Nano Nuclear Energy, and James joins me now on the set here in New York City. Hi. That's a nuclear power plant <laughs> sitting in the back of a truck. That's, that's right. It's going to be the smallest uh, system of its kind, and it's going to be portable, it can go anywhere in the world by road, rail, ship, anywhere you want. Okay, obvious question. Is it safe? Um, nuclear power is already the safest form of energy man has already uh, ever devised, um, but this is still safe. Well, it, could it melt down, for example? Uh, it, it's impossible. Like the, the old systems, the, the biggest catastrophe that was possible was the meltdown system, but these are built with different coolants, different fuels, and, and for that reason they can't melt down. Are these the kind of nuclear reactors that you find on nuclear subs? There is, a, there is a difference in level of enrichment, but like in terms of the size and the scale of these things, they're very, there's a very similar um, dimensions. So what, what, do you, what would you use them for? I mean, you could drive them anywhere. You, data centers? You, you could, you, you, I mean, for the very small ones on the back of a truck, you could be looking at remote industry, mining projects, oil and gas, disaster relief, um, island communities, remote habitation, remote industry. If you want to go a bit, we have a bigger system that could be um, used for data centers, tech centers, and chemical plants. You just drive the thing. Yeah. Plug it in, and you've got juice wherever you want it. Th that's right. It, it no could, carbon emissions. No carbon emissions. It could be a very transformative technology. Like this could bring power to people, hundreds of millions of people, maybe billions across the world that don't have access to consistent power. What you're really involved in is the building back of America's nuclear industry. Because it's been run down for, for decades. Oh, 100%. And look, that's one of the critical issues that's facing it. And like the, the U.S. is reindustrializing, and as it does that, it's going to need power. And the, it, the DOE is putting billions back into rebuilding a lot of the infrastructure in the U.S. at the moment, and we'll be part of that too. Oh, well, you're in talks with the energy department? Uh, yes, so um, we're partnered with um, an enrichment company. We were the recipient of one of the big grants that was um, uh, put out by the Department of Energy to help rebuild some of this national infrastructure. You were one of the top uh, IPOs of 2024, as I recall. I, I think we were the top, actually. So oh, excuse me. <laughs> we, were, we were the top one. Um, and look what you're doing for yourself now. You're up 11% today. Oh, terrific. Like, maybe it's the show. I don't know. Reward me, please. <laughs> okay. But I've got to make one last point. Hmm. They're not in service yet. No, and, and part of that is related to that infrastructure component, is that um, the time to deployment of these systems is going to be longer because we need to build back that capability to enrich and deconvert, and, and all of those different aspects in the fuel supply chain. Once that's done, we can roll hundreds, if not thousands, of these out the door. James Walker, fascinating. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank we you. appreciate it. Thanks Thank you very much. Okay.